Morning YouTubers, sorry I haven't uploaded for a little while but I've got something interesting for you today. This one I run quite a lot at my work um, and it comes in really handy. What we're going to do is we're going to use AutoIt to actually open up an Excel file and then run a macro that we've already pre-recorded. Okay, so what we've got to do is we've got to put in a couple of um, or in one of the includes which is obviously the, uh, the Excel one. So we want to do include Excel dot three. Okay, so that'll have all of our Excel parameters in it for us. Okay, so now we need to open up our Excel file. So call this one. So you can actually just go through the list and partially type and then tab to complete that. Um, like that. So now you've just got to tell it what file we're going to open up here. So uh, mine's on my D drive. And the actual name of the file is just book one. So next we're gonna open it. Call this one. file S workbook. Oops. Um, Excel one S workbook. Okay, so we need to make sure that it's actually active. So we tell Auto it to actually make sure that that's the active window because you you don't want to do this when it's not the active window or else it just probably won't work on you. Okay, so, so tell it to open up the O workbook and make that the active one. So we'll just have a bit of a sleep here for say three seconds just so you can see it's opened and there's nothing on the screen. And then this is the fun part. So. So this is where we tell it to run and then you tell it what the macro name is. So in this case, so I've called this one auto it macro. Okay, so then we'll have another sleep in three seconds. And then we'll close Excel. tell it which one to close obviously. And save changes. Yeah. Default. Alright, let's give that a little run and um, see what happens, shall we? thinking. There we go. So it's opened up the book file. It's paused for three seconds. Run the macro. And now closes. There we go. Done. So that's how you can just open up an Excel book file. And um, if you've got a pre-run macro uh, or pre-written macro, well then you can just get it to run that macro for you. This also works really good if you put in the time and date function as well. Um, like in previous videos where I've got, if it's on a certain day, 
then do something. Or you can actually, what I do with my work is I make it say, on the first of every month at 6.30 in the morning, do something. And in one of these cases, it's actually go and grab an Excel file and update it and make sure it's got all the latest data. So I hope this one will be useful for you and um, I'll catch you on the flip side.